In Gemini 3, computer use AI agents. Here's how to automate your browser for free. So you can see here that we've got access to Gemini 3 browser base and we've selected free flash. And then we can actually get this agent to go off and start using the web. So if we say, okay, play a game of 2048, it's going to start opening up Gemini browser here. And you can see that it's actually navigating the web and then it's going to go off and use Gemini flash to browse the web and start playing right now i'm not touching this i'm not controlling it but google and its new gemini update with 3.0 flash is super powerful for using these ai agents to do this stuff all right you can see here it's now navigated to and it's beginning to work its magic now if you've never used this before or you don't know how this works basically this is an ai browser using stagehand and also gemini browser base as you can see i'm going to be testing out today but you can see here it's actually playing the game and it's going off and working this magic whilst i'm talking to you so it's pretty amazing to see this ai agent be able to control the screen look at what's going click buttons play games automate tasks for you we'll come on to some of the best automations for doing this and it is completely free to use as you can see today imagine this like for example you tell okay the ai go off and find me 50 leads in my niche it doesn't work this is not some future tech anymore this is live right now today and here's the crazy part you don't need to know how to code you don't need to pay for fancy tools you don't need the tech team and today i'm going to show you how this new gemini browser ai agent works the exact 30 day plan to set this up in your business my browser stack framework for hands-free automation free tools you can use today to get started and real examples winning with this to get results right so you can see here it's beginning to build this out it's beginning to perform actions you can see the history of what it's doing on the left hand side over here and it basically works like this so you could say for example okay let's go back here we'll click off close we'll go back to gemini browser we'll select flash and we'll say okay what was the manchester united versus newcastle score it can go off and start doing its magic now you could say for example okay go find the latest prices on this for example you could say okay review a pull request on GitHub, etc and you see how the ai just moves the mouse it clicks buttons it reads text this is gemini computer use in action so my homework for you would be like try three different tasks in this demo screenshot what happens see how it goes for example i could go back on here i can actually open up multiple tabs so we can go back to gemini 3 flash type in your prompt over here you can see some example requests here and then we can say okay find the top five trending posts on hacker news today and tell me what topics to get the most attention it's going to start opening up gemini browser and then you can see it's navigated to hacker news and it's found the top five ai news headlines now you can actually click on deploy over here as well and this is how you can deploy it on your own laptop there's another way you can use this as well you can use something called nano browser and with nano browser this is an open source web AI agent right now if you click add to chrome add it to chrome like so add extension you can start using it this way as well and then if we pull this up we're going to open up settings and then inside here we would just start opening up settings for the model right now if we click on add new provider we can select whichever model we want to use we can actually use olama which runs locally so that's how you can use ai for free using some of the models you already have installed or what you can do is you can go to gemini here and then you can select which model you want and just grab an api key if you don't know how to grab an api key no problem so what you're going to do is go to ai studio like you can see over here then you're going to scroll down dashboard get api and you can just grab an api key over here so i'm just going to do that in the background and find one for you if you have any questions as we go along feel free to ask christian says hey bro good to see you here we're going to keep running through this so i'm going to grab an api key in the background copy that go back over here we're going to go into nano browser plug in the api key paste that in like you can see add new provider now you can x off gemini and 2.5 flash if you don't want to use it then you can click save and now that's added it then you're just going to choose your models like you can see all right so we're going to select pro preview for all of these and we've got speech to text we got planner and we've got navigator okay nice so now that's set up with the models what we're going to actually do is we've got the ai agent ready to go okay so for example here we can say okay what are the or what happened in the latest ai news today all right we'll hit send so that's going to go off and do its magic we also have a cat here ready to say hello as you can see he's joined me on the live stream so it's beginning to navigate now and you can see it's checking out the latest ai news from today it can navigate to google it can use your browser automatically it can control your screen click buttons etc and how simple is it to use right you can literally set this up in two minutes using this process and you can basically get the ai agents to control your browser to do whatever you want to automate stuff and even if you're a complete beginner you can really get started with this stuff quickly all right now i actually I have a blocker on my laptop so that i don't use google too much just to save time and stay focused but you can see how that works all right so 
you've got nano browser and you've also got, for example, browser base too. All right. Now this actually shows you, I'm going to close this Chrome extension now, but if you ever need to go back to the Chrome extension, all you do is click on Chrome extensions and find nano browser over there. So you can see that's a free Chrome extension and then you just plug in whatever API you want. And if you want a free one, then you can use Olama to help you do that. Crystal says cute kitty. Yeah. He's called Arthur. He should run his own YouTube channel to be fair. And then you can see here, we've got the Gemini three flash web agent template. All right. So autonomous control with stage hand plus Gemini flash. So this template basically pairs different things. And then all you're going to do is use stage hand agent with Gemini flash, control the browser, navigates the web and returns the final steps. Right? Now, if you go back to Gemini browser, if you're comparing this to nano browser, the difference here is like with nano browser and the Chrome extension there, that's in your actual Chrome, right? So it's logged in to everything that you're using. It's not on the incognito. Whereas if you use something like Gemini browser base, I would say it's a bit more safe because you're running it in a virtual environment, right? And so that's obviously a bit safer than running it like with all your stuff available with all your logins and everything like that. So you can switch between these. You can always use 2.5 computer use as well, and then you can go off and work your magic. So if you want to get started with this, I actually built a 30 day browser agent blueprint to help you. Okay. So we've got week one and we've talked about some examples, of how you can get started with this stuff. You can also do something like this. All right. And the thing to note here is there are two different models to know, right? So you've got Gemini flash inside browser base, as you can see, so Gemini three flash, and that's super fast, great for general tasks, good for planning what to do. Gemini 2.5 computer use is specialized for browser control. It can see screenshots. It can act on websites. So Gemini flash is kind of like the planner 2.5 computer use. You can use it to do it right. And together they're pretty much unstoppable. Now also you've got a bunch of actions that browser agents can do. So for example, they can click, they can type, they can scroll, they can navigate, they can screenshot, and they can extract data from pages. So the other way to use this, and I've got loads of training on my YouTube channel if you want to get access to this, is you can go over to anti-gravity and inside Google anti-gravity, if you download this free software, this actually uses the agent to develop apps, to fix bugs, to test things on anything that you develop. I've got loads of training on YouTube on that, so I'm not going to go too deep into it, but you can use the browser agent that way. What I'd recommend is like you write down five repetitive browser tasks that you do each week, and then you look at, okay, what can you actually start using to, to generate outputs with this, right? So I've actually created this custom prompt. This is inside the AI success lab, if you want to get access to this. So if you go to the AI success lab, you've got 41,100 members inside there. So you can get free access to this. And then if you go inside the classroom here, then you're going to go over to December, new automations, and you can see we've got full training with all the resources and the links and everything else to do this, right? To check this out. So if we now go over Gemini, for example, and we need some ideas on how we can use this, right? I can say, okay, I am an SEO agency owner, right? I spend most of my time on tasks like keyword research. Which of these could be automated with a browser agent, right? Which tasks could be automated with a browser agent that can click, type, scroll, navigate, screenshot, and extract data, right? It actually give me some ideas on what I can do to leverage this. So if you're wondering, okay, how do I apply this to me? How is this important to me? How do I make sure this is actually useful and worthwhile for my business? You can use something like this process, as you can see right here, and then start generating outputs like you can see and getting a bunch of ideas on what you could automate. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. You might be wondering, okay, what powers this? Stagehand is a free open source tool that powers browser agents. You can work with like Gemini, Claude, other models. You can see some examples of how it works and you don't need to code to understand this, all right? So this is just a bridge between AI and your browser. So you don't need to be able to code to type something in here, right? Like it's really simple. So for example, we can say, okay, check the latest news on Google about AI, right? We'll hit run like so. That starts the browser. The only thing that I found, and bear in mind, this is like brand new technology. The only thing I found that is a bit of an issue is the fact that sometimes it gets stuck on the capture here. But if you're struggling with that, just use Nano Browser instead, right? So Nano Browser, it doesn't worry about cookies because it's already logged into your laptop. And so it doesn't need to accept any permission. But you've got different options for doing that. And then you can see here it's a five minute session time limit on the free plan but that's more than enough to automate most tasks. So you can see here, for example, it's given us a bunch of ideas of what we could automate, right? So what we can actually do, this would be interesting to test, is we can go to Nano Browser over here. We can say, okay, go to Ahrefs and do some keyword research for me, okay? And we're gonna hit enter and send like that. And then that should start going over to keyword research on Ahrefs and start automating the process for me. So you can see it's beginning to use the navigator now. It's looking at the screen, it's analyzing the screen, looking at what to do, etc. And now you can see it's navigated over to Ahrefs, right? I just need to sign into Ahrefs to make sure this works. There we go. And now it's analyzing the page. Now you can see this drop down here. This all it's looking at all the crazy stuff it can do. It's like analyzing the page, if that makes sense. You can scroll and control it as well. So you can actually type in and control whilst you're doing this. But that's basically how it works. And you can see now it's navigated to the keyword explorer. 
Explorer and it can start typing in keywords to research for us. So it can automate that process. If you go back the task here, you can see that it's completed here, right? And you see it says, I searched for the latest AI news on Google, navigated to the news tab, identified several news headlines, including trends in the AI, Google's recent announcements, and all this other cool stuff. When to use the agent versus the API, we've got a table of comparisons here, comparing each one. And if you go back to the 30 day plan here, what I'd recommend is you map your first workflow, right? So you take one task from day four, break it into steps, for example, like research competitors, and the planner will actually help you do that. And then from here, you've got a prompt that you can start using for this stuff, as you can see. Now I've actually created 100 prompts for browser use agents. So if you're wondering, okay, how do I automate lead generation? We've actually given you a bunch of prompts you can copy and paste. If you want to know how to do competitive research prompts, we've got a bunch of ideas right here. If you're wondering, okay, how do I do content research? You could, for example, navigate to Reddit, or you could visit Cura, or you could go to Google Trends, you could go to Apps, or you could go to, for example, Twitter. But basically everything here is designed to help you automate all of the repetitive tasks that most business owners struggle with. And you might say, okay, I'm not technical enough to use AI agents, but here's the thing, right? Like I'm a singer songwriter, I live weights, I'm not a tech guy. Right. But I use these tools every day and you know what changed everything? I stopped trying to learn everything. Right. So instead I just learned one tool really well, notebook, then Gemini, then NA10, three tools. That's it. You don't need to be technical. You just need to be focused. Right. The new way is really just pick three tools that you want to master with AI, master them deeply, ignore everything else and build real workflows you actually use. The old way was like trying 50 different AI tools, getting overwhelmed and confused, wasting months switching between apps and never actually automating anything. Also, some people say browser automation is only for developers. And when I first heard about browser agents, I thought the same thing. This is coding stuff. It's not for me. And then I saw the browser based demo and you literally just type in what you want. So for example, go to Google and search for marketing agencies in Dallas, right? Like the AI does the rest, no code, no scripts, no technical jargon. You just tell it what to do. And this is like having a virtual system that basically never sleeps. So the new way, the old way was like hiring VAs and training them for weeks. They make mistakes and you fix them. They sleep and work limited hours. You spend more time managing the doing, right? The new way is like you can type instructions in plain English, watch the AI click and scroll for you, get results without touching the keyboard and run it 24 seven. Okay, which would you choose? Obviously you're gonna go with the AI automation. So pretty amazing what you can do with this. Feel free to get all the notes inside the AI Success Lab completely free, connects you with 40,100 members. As you can see inside the classroom here, we have all of these trainings and we update this every single day. It's completely free. We have a hundred prompts, a 30 day action plan, all the links from today as well. So if you wanna check this stuff out, you can get all the tools and resources that we've used to get results with AI, just like I'm showing you today. And if you wanna get help, support, if you wanna get training, coaching, etc., with AI, feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom. This is an amazing community with a tribe of winners winning with AI. So if you go to the community, check out the win section, you can see that, for example, like Johan is white labeling voice sessions. You can see Justin is celebrating us growing as a community. You can see Vladimir building out course updates. You can see, for example, Karen, who built out like multiple client websites in one day, made a custom GPT and built her own custom tools, right? So if you want to learn and grow and be part of an amazing community that's winning with AI, feel free to join the AI Profit Boardroom. And what you've learned today is just a start. So if you want to go deeper, if you want pre-built automations ready to use, if you want to daily support when you get stuck, then tell me about you inside the AI Profit Boardroom. Introduce yourself inside the community, right? Check out the courses inside the classroom. So for example, inside the AI Profit Boardroom here, you get six week AI Automation Masterclass that shows you how to go from a complete beginner to building your first AI agent in under five minutes and also becoming an expert in just five weeks. As you can see, this is a five week roadmap to become an expert. You also get my best trainings on, for example, like how I automate avatar videos, shorts, newsletters, Twitter, emails, screen share, etc. And also you get my best trainings and workflows on, for example, how to get clients, AICO automation, YouTube AI, etc. Everything you need to really grow and learn how to use AI. He drinks coffee, says definitely interested. Feel free to get it. Link in the comments description. The other thing that you get here, you get four weekly coaching sessions here, right? So you can jump on the coaching course here, get help, get support, meet the community live and get all the support you need to really grow with AI.